Hello, hi, welcome to a lovely Saturday. It's the 21st of September. Uh, it's uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And we are going to start the magical all nighter for magical redesign. It starts at 4 p.m. today and it goes all the way through to 4 p.m. tomorrow. And we have some choices to make. Now, I did want to go sleep. Get a nap in, but it didn't work out. Now, the problem with me being wanting to fill that 24 hours with as much reading as possible is my internet restrictions. In my current situation, I only have internet. Um, well, I have some mobile data during the day, but I have internet that I can use on all my devices between midnight and 7 a.m. in the morning. Just, just, just that small time. That's what I have, and I need to use it. So. I've got stuff to do, okay? I've got stuff to do. Um, so maybe you can write a review with me. We'll go. Anyway, so we are currently, I currently have these books. And this ebook at the same time. These are the four books that I still need to complete for my TBR, for my Rillium Academy curriculum. Curriculum, curriculum. Yeah. Oh, where did the sun go? Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Um, now, we can't read this one because uh, this is part of the read along. It's got its own video. Um, I just finished doing part three, day three. Um, and I can't read the ebook because I need to reuse my phone. I don't have a Kindle. I have the Kindle app. Um, so that's non conducive for this video. <coughs> I do not know how to get this thing to stay on focus. It just doesn't work. So I apologize for the light. Um, so we are currently reading this one, and we still have this one left to read. Now she thick, mm, not could be thicker I suppose, but she's thick. Okay. So what am I going to do? How am I going to read? I'm currently on page one hundred and six. I need to lean forward so that I can get light in my face. That's weird. If I move, the light changes. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue reading this to as far as I get. If I manage to finish, then I'm going to start this one because that's the next physical I have to take. Um, day four, we've just finished day three. Today's day three. Day four, which is tomorrow, is a catch-up day. So there's no reading to be done. So, I don't need to read it. So, there's that. However, I might, I might continue going with day 4 to get a head start. I read 5 and 6, whatever, day 5. But I'll still read, no, day 5 is the next part, it's fine. Don't worry about that. So, so that's what I think I'm going to do. We're going to continue this one, see how far we get, and then if we finish, we can start on the trials. On the trials, okay. So, yeah. So, it's five past three, I've got about an hour left, um, I, I need to sort myself out with some snack poos, and then I don't know what I'm going to do for supper yet, but that's fine, so yeah. Okay, so it's just gone four o'clock. Um, I have my snacks. <laughs> um, I budgeted for that very hard. So we are reading The Book of Elsewhere by Keanu Reeves and China Meeble. Um, and just to catch you up, I'm on page 106. So, the main character's name is Unute, or simply called B, the letter for short. Um, I don't know why for short, but they call him B. Um, and he's immortal, and they've created a team, a military team around him to work with him, but they have the risk of also being killed by him when he's in the rage. Okay, so apparently he's like a demigod. Um, and he doesn't know about himself 
as much as he thinks he's very, very, very old. Very, 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 very old. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And all he wants to do is to no longer be immortal. He doesn't want to die. He just wants to be able to die. Okay. Um, so far... There's, there's a gay couple in here. That was nice, but the one died in the beginning. It was so sad. Um, so yeah, so what we're doing is we're learning. Something happened in the beginning. There was, there was like, they were exploring a cave and something and then something did something and there was a big explosion. And, and then now we're going from there and we're learning about Anute and Anute is learning about you know, he knows that there's more than one of him, apparently, and he's found only one other, and it's a pig, a deer pig, a babirusa. If you've heard of them, please let me know down in the comments below. Thanks. I never, until now. Anyway, so yeah, so that's where we are at. We're learning where he is in. Some of the writing is mesmerizing. It's nice and flowy. The, some of the other writing is just hard to read because it's a lot of sci-fi babble. Now, I say psycho sci-fi battle because they're using medical terms for building stuff like a crepitus, uh, um, um, apparently. That's the sound your joints make, you know, bone against bone. So when your elbows or your knees click when you move, that is crepitus sound. So they use that word for the sound that the building that fell down makes in case, you know, like the bone, like the, like the stone grinding on the metal, grinding on the stone. Kind of annoys crepitus. So, full of terms like that. Um, things that the everyday Joe wouldn't necessarily know. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and also, I'm confused. I have no idea where this book is going or what's going on. Well, I know what's going on. There's, there's really nothing going on. Um, really, there's nothing going on. So yeah, let's get into that. Also, I'm currently listening to um, Rage of a Demon King uh, by Remedy Feist. Um, I will insert, yeah, how many hours I've listened to. I don't know how, how far I am yet. I'm only in the beginning. So it can't be more than an hour. Can't be. Not even an hour. That's fine. And then, so if I do stuff, then I'll be listening to that on audio. Um, look, there is a chance that I might go to do later on before midnight because I've been doing this for more than a month now. So, you know, kind of routine. So it's already after four. So, you know, between four and seven p.m. I need to eat. Um, my body's telling me it's meal time. Okay. Um, also, anywhere between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m., depending on how I feel in any given day, is when I go sleep. If I don't have very many things to do on the internet after after midnight and stuff, and I'm still tired, then I will I won't spend the whole seven hours. I will go sleep because then I'm up again between well, you know like eight nine and then all day, all day. So yes, I might get tired and I might go to do, which isn't a big thing. But I do want to read as much as I can in the 24 hour period. Not that you are, not that you have to, but I want to. Because I'm a sucker for punishment. Let's get reading. Let's get reading. Eight. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'm on page 169. <coughs> and I'm tired. Like I said, it's routine. It's just, I'm. My body says so now, so I've got to go do that. But I'm going to sleep. I'll see you again just before midnight. 
If I wake up on time, I might have a sleep. Please don't have a sleep this time. Please don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so what's happening is nothing much. We're just learning all about him. We're getting history. We're getting things we... I don't know. They're trying to, they're trying to figure out how to make him mortal. And they're trying to learn from the pig. And they're cutting it up and taking stuff. And uh, it's all gruesome. It's also a lot of scientific stuff. But I'm tired and my brain is sore, so I'm gonna go take a nap and then maybe I'll absorb it better. I don't know. Look, it's very slow going, okay. That's that's all I can say. I'm sure I would have read more than sixty pages in this time, but it's not a quick read. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'll see you later. Bye. It's just uh, past 2 a.m. It's my second cup of coffee. And I've just been doing stuff to get my brain working again. <laughs> I've read 10 more pages. Um, the book is weird. It's weird. I, I don't even know what I'm reading. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to catch up on what I need to do. I need to do an Instagram post. Um, yeah, I missed book roast being live, unfortunately. So, I didn't get to do the sprints today, but that's okay. Um, yeah. And then I need to write a review or two. So fun sometimes. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, I'll catch up later. Bye. now 20 to 5 a.m. and I'm tired this book I'm on page 198 the start of and it's making my eyes sore and making me sleepy so I need to go sleep I'm tired I have typed up most of my review um, but I still need to take a photo for that which I'll do later it's okay I need to use somebody else's phone it's an it's an ebook, so yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go take another nap, and I'm going to see you later. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's about eight thirty um, a.m., and I need to get ready for the day. And I'm running out of space on my phone. I need to figure out how to do to make space because I'm doing three videos at a time now at this particular point so I can't burn any of them and I, I don't know what I'm gonna do so I need to figure that out mm, happy Sunday see you later <laughs> hi again <coughs> Pardon. so it's like just before 12 o'clock and I had to clear my phone, deleted some stuff, but there wasn't enough space, so I actually had to make a video. So I took the first four days of the tandem read along for the instrumentalist, and I made that into a video. And then I need to make more space to finish it because the exported file. Then I had to charge my phone. So I had to burn it and I had to charge my phone. Um, and then I had to take it off my phone and put it onto the computer. And now I have to get those pieces off so I can do these pieces because, um, again, I don't have enough space. 
First of all, I've been waiting. I've been reading. <laughs> so I'm currently on page 238. 238. Okay, so basically. This is a story of a superhuman, demigod-like, who has a mission, we don't know what that is. And he, there's a unit that's studying him, but they're military, so, you know, they do back him up and da da da, -da and they do all sorts of stuff. And he's on a mission to become mortal, and things are happening. So now he's also, like we said, he's looking for others like him, so he's found a pig. Okay, and this pig keeps finding him and he keeps finding the pigs So now they've got the pig and the pig's in the lab and the pig is doing stuff But now something's happening Ever since they got the pig Things have been happening, weird things Okay, so that's the main story So all the little players are involved somehow And that's the main story But in the meantime there are sub-stories Like the wife's story, the stowaway story, etc. And there's, these are like perspectives of B from other people. Except for the stowaway, I don't know what that was about. Um, except maybe for the constructs, which is, anyway. Uh, so this is, this is really weird. So basically the story is a soldier and there he's being studied and he's looking for something and, and, and that's what it's about and now some supernatural things are happening. That's basically the story. Um, again, I'm all, if I haven't mentioned it before, it says it's based on the Berserker comic books. I have not read those. No idea what that's about. I'm assuming that when V goes into his berserk mode, he's re -astrid. That's the berserker thing. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's still slow going because it's, it's sci-fi. There are some points that go s smoothly and then other points that I struggle with. You know, I have to read it slowly because it's scientific. Blah, -de blah, blah. So, yeah, so it's four more hours left up the all-nighter I thought this video was gonna be the next one okay and and I mean I just have a few more hours to finish but I have no space so I had to finish that one and then I'll finish this one and then I'll be able to concentrate back on number one which is the magical reason vlog and then I must continue with the instrumentalist vlog so, but in the meantime I need to Build them, move them, and the delete, and then make more space. So yes, let's read. Let's read. <laughs> And that's it, it is about 20 past 4, okay, and we got to page 296, and there is literally, literally 41 more pages left. <laughs> so this is the end of the Magical All-Nighter, um, I got two, I got 190 pages, I started at 106. Um, well, 189, I'm technically just read to 195, I'm on 296 now, I'm in 1295. Yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I, I am starting to see how the story is fitting together. Um, so yay for that. Um, but what I'm going to do is, instead of finishing the video up here, I'm just going to finish this. And then I'll finish this video. I might not finish it today. I might not finish this video today. However, I did finish the first part of the new read-along for Tandem, The Instrumentalist. So that will go up this evening. 
or tonight this morning when I put on between 12 and 7 and then the subtitlings I don't know what might be up I might have to wait again until the next day I don't know but that one will go up and then this one sh then this one should go up so holding thumbs okay um yeah so I'm going to chill I've been reading a lot um I also had to make more space <laughs> wow and it doesn't really help very much so um I'm, I'm going to finish this video off and then clear off that and then i'll be good to go for the next one i'll see you later okay bye hello hi so i finished it last night the book of elsewhere <laughs> um. <laughs> okay look so there's a story about a man named Unute and he's immortal and he don't know why he's been around for 88,000 years or something like that <laughs> And so on and so forth. So now there's a story in, in, in now, in the time now, whatever the time is, and these are units and they're studying him and he's allowing them to study him. And he's also looking for answers to who he is and how he is and what he is and la 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 la. But he's also tired of being immortal. He, he just wants to be able to be immortal, to be able to die. He's died and died and died and died and died. But it keeps coming back. So that's the story. And then there's, you know, secrets because the scientists want to create their own super soldiers and stuff as usual. So of course they do they've been collecting stuff and putting things together and, and trying to get the life into the non life. Um but then they found out that there's a counter to whatever Unuti is because Unuti is looking for other children of lightning, people like him, because there has to be more because there's a pig. <laughs> and then a third party is involved. It's like the life project. So yeah in the end look it's a good it's a good story it's a nice sci-fi story if you take all the scientific jumbo out there's a lot of that but and then it can slow your reading down like it does mine i don't which is fine i do want to read more sci-fi but I, I don't read sci-fi or don't want to read sci-fi often because of the inward ups Sometimes you need to have an actual degree in rocket science or whatever to do that. Anyway, um, and then through the main story, there are backstories, and then you get some from other people's perspective, like the wife's story, and then you get some from him as a child, like the stowaway story, and then there's things about the constructs as well that 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 it is introduced through the backstories. Which plays a part in the main story, it's weird, I still don't know how that figures that out. Um, and then they... Yeah... And, it's a, it's, and then there's a story, it's a story of a new day, because... And when he's seeking whatever he's doing, so you're also getting stuff from him, but it's also a story about the people he's working with. It's it's okay. It's based on the Berserker comics, which is also by Keanu Reeves, who created that. Um, I have not read the Berserker comics. Um, I don't know. I'm not a comics kind of guy. Um, if you've read the comics, this book would probably make more sense to you. Um, I'm not so sure about the mind blowing and the genre bending. It's just sci-fi and military, it's military sci-fi. Um, 
and there's a demigod, so I suppose it's fantasy. It's just a blend of sci-fi fantasy. That's what the category is. Sci-fi fantasy. <laughs> That's what this is. Um, I've also read a book called Cold People. Um, I'll insert a graphic. I don't have the book right now. Um, I can't remember who. They also experimented on some stuff and they tried to create their own life and then they succeeded and then the life just evolved and evolved and evolved and then became a threat. So, I mean, you get what you ask for. Um, it's not the same story because cold people is based in the cold and the Arctic, la 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 la. But it's also similar. Not similar, I mean, they create experiments and they've been creating experiments. I mean, a lot of science sci fi is like that. But anyway, so yeah. So, um, three and a half stars is what I'm giving this one. Thank you, Penguin Random House of Africa, for sending this to me. Um, this was my choice for non reader pick. It was my choice, actually. <laughs> it was my nephew's choice. Um, out of the books that I asked him to pick for me. So, that's my magical rhythm prompt done and dusted for demonology. Yes, demonology. Now, and that's the end of this as well. Um, the magical rhythm ended yesterday. Um, I finished some of those last night, but then I got tired and I went to sleep. And then I did some stuff online last night, but then I got bored. I, I, I put up the new video, the instrumentalist part one, so you can check that out. Um, and then by the time that was done, I was tired again, so I took another quick nap this morning. But I finished this yesterday, last night, and I didn't feel like recording anything. I still had to do make space. That was a mental issue as well. Oy vey. So yeah. So thank you very much for watching this video from a lovely, lovely day here in Cape Town. Um, but there's a cold front coming again. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your week ahead. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, bye.